You probably know mulberries are delicious, but they had some killer other uses not many know of. The fruits were eaten by the Apache, Asinai, Caddo, Comanche, Coapaw, Choctaw, Haudenosaunee, Tohono-Odham, and natives from Illinois and Kansas to Florida. For making bows, mulberry wood was actually preferred by the Apache, Comanche, and Tohono-Odham, being second only to Osage Orange, which is in the mulberry family. Young trees were selected for their straight grain, debarked, and the wood was dried before shaping it. I made this bow out of mulberry. For burden baskets, mulberry wood was preferred by the White Mountain Apache, and Texas mulberry shoots were peeled, split, and used for the coiled basketry of the Tonho Udham. The inner bark was used by the Sinise and Caddo for lashings and house constructions and for cordage. It was also used to make cloth by the Caddo and Natchitoches, and an invasive mulberry in my area, paper mulberry, was used for tapa cloth by South Pacific natives. And the wood was used by the Caddo for hearth boards and friction fire starting. Red mulberry, Morris rubra, and Texas mulberry, Morris microphylla, are native to the U.S., whereas white mulberry and black mulberry, Morris alba and Morris nigra, are introduced. Morris alba, this species here, actually hybridizes with the native red mulberry. And Morris alba has these glossy leaves, whereas Morris rubra has more matte leaves, and hybrids are simply intermediate. Morris Microphila is smaller species in general, and paper mulberry is a different genus, and that has very soft and pubescent leaves.